You see, the point of this prophecy was not so Daniel could figure out what everything meant. He was terrified by what he saw. He didn't understand everything that he saw. He got to ask some questions and get a little information about some of it. He didn't even talk with people about it right away. The point was not so he could go spread this around. They could all put their heads together and and try to figure out exactly what was going to happen. That wasn't the point of the prophecy. Thankfully, he wrote them down so they were preserved for us and we could read them today. So what is the point? Let me give you three takeaways that I think are good applications of this prophecy. Number one, these prophecies teach us that God is sovereign. In the middle of Babylon, in the middle of a nation that does not always honor God, uh, we know that Belshazzar was not a good king and Belshazzar never repented. And it's in Belshazzar's reign that Daniel has this vision. It's the first year of his reign. In fact, he probably got off to a bang and Daniel's thinking, God, what are you doing? We had such a good thing going with Nebuchadnezzar and now there's Belshazzar and he's terrible. And God goes, hold up, Daniel, look at what I'm doing in the big picture. I've got something so much bigger planned. You can't even imagine how this is all gonna work out as a part of my plan. God is sovereign.